Hi guys, it's Tina. Welcome to Wolfstein and welcome back to the Wolfstein. And today I have an unboxing. Um, it's something I got off of eBay. I've been having this on my wish list or watch list for about two, two and a half years now. And I finally decided to bite the bullet and get it. It's going to be very sentimental to me. And yeah, it's a collectible and... Let me just get to the unboxing. So, here it is. Came with the eBay tape and all that good stuff. I've had it up sitting up there for a couple of weeks. I'm waiting for it to do unboxing. It's like, uh, let me open you. We all know how much I am obsessed with Anton Yelchin. Well, I found out that he played in Terminator Salvation. And when he died, I went on eBay looking for autographs. Like certified, authentic autographs. And there was only like one or two sellers that weren't like capitalizing on his death. When I searched him up, this thing popped up. I'm like, ah, I don't need that right now. Cats are just gonna break it, whatnot. So I put it in my watch list and just forgot about it. And yeah, let's see, last month I went and I was looking for this Elsa eyeshadow palette. And I am also looking for some Lost Boy stuff because I just finally watched Lost Boys for the first time. So I'm like so behind on that trend. I was trying to find some of that, and then this popped up saying, You're still watching this, blah blah blah. blah. And I'm like, Huh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I was like, It's $24.99. The shipping, the only shipping option they had was $12.60. So, which is fine because they have to put it in the box with the bubble wrap and all that stuff and tracking. Um, so, yeah, I got it, and this is what the box looks like. There's the side. There's that side. It kind of looks like Benedict Cumberbatch from that. However you say Cumberbatch. Doctor Strange from that angle. And back. Mm -hmm. this, there are three other ones in this set. T.R.I.P. Resistance Infiltrator Prototype. Blair Williams. T. 600? I think it's, I think it's a 6. It's either a 6 or a G. And then Marcus Wright. I've never watched any Terminator movies. I do know like Kyle Reese's kind of usual story because in one of them it was the kid from Pet Cemetery. So I kind of like watched bits and pieces of that one but I've not, never sat down and watched one all the way through. But yeah this, there was only 3,000 of these ones of Anton Yelchin made. Um, and this is number 34 of 3,000. And I just can't believe the price was so low. I mean, it's been opened and they had it on display at their house. I didn't care about that as long as the figure was intact. Um, I'm not that much of a nerd where everything has to be mint condition, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. The bus measures approximately 5.75 inches tall, 4 inches wide, and 4.75 inches deep. Or three fourths. Yeah. Let's unbox them, shall we? Let's see. It's heavy. I didn't think busts were that heavy. Maybe just the only ones that I've actually felt were like were alabaster, or, which is kind of almost like 3D printing. I really liked. Start phone. It's all intact. Which is good because what I had him sitting on fell over and it's probably gonna broken. Even though he's in all this padded stuff. Nope, come out in time. Alright, there you go. Okay, there's where they have the number. Number 34, 3000. Kyle Reese Bus Terminator Salvation, produced by DC Unlimited in 2009. I'm about to say, like, the pictures on the box don't really do it justice. Like, the details and these Terminator skulls in the, on the bottom, 
are like they remind me of a Warhammer like how detailed they are like there's gas masks and grenades and binocular pieces and man it looks like an anti himself wow they went there it's all like, oh, the folds and the clothing because he's wearing like a zip up shirt type thing then he's got a vest over that and then he's got a jacket over that and this folds making it look realistic is amazing and they the top jacket is actually looks like it's supposed to look like fur and they texturized it really good the bullets everything's intact and his face is actually really detailed because he has kind of a gaunt face very high um, prominent cheekbones oh like if I put him down like that he almost looks like Ethan Hawke in a way who him and Keanu Reeves are my th other favorite actors so yeah they've got his details down really good whoever made the mold and carved this out and they made mold of it did a really good job the sculptor did it doesn't say who the sculptor is it just said made in China that would be nice if it said who sculpted this I guess I can go to DC Direct Online to find out more product information. I don't know. But yeah. Let's give you guys some close-ups. You get all the sun. There we go. Pew! Put your paws up. There's so many little things you can look at on this base. And it feels like it's at least a pound, two pounds. Feels weight, like half the weight of Taylor. It's really heavy. I think it is porcelain or... Does it tell me? I think I read in like, the listing that it was porcelain. But yeah. So happy. I'm gonna keep him in the box until I can find a safe place to display him. I'll just display the box up on top of it. We have an um, entertainment system cabinet thingy. I'm gonna put him on top. So that is it. Oh, I guess straight here. I have this little hair that wants to stay out the whole time. Um, so that is that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm like cringy when it comes to unboxing things. But yeah, if you'd like to see more unboxings or hauls, let me know because I can do them. Like, I get stuff all, not all the time, but, but I don't get enough to haul, but some people don't mind that. So, if you're one of the people that wants to see more, can you hit that like button? You can also subscribe and join the pack. We'd love to have you here. And until next time, bye guys. Mwah.